Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Chapstick. This one is Clover Honey. So we're going to use this one today. This look is subscriber request for, it does smell like honey. It smells stronger than it did the other day. Maybe because I was sniffing all the other ones too. Yeah, this one is kind of strong. Um, This one requests Dawn R. Thank you, troll friend. She asked for a 70s look, an 80s look, a 90s look, and an early 2000s look. I'm like, combine them all together or take one feature from each or, but I'm gonna do them. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna batch film. And so I'm gonna do one of the looks and then click off my phone, turn it back on, and then do a talk through video, like just something else. So that way I'll knock, I will knock out, excuse me, two videos in a day without having to wash my face and start over. And also I'm gonna combine looks. Um, for this one also, this is gonna be the 70s look. Uh, will Venus wanted to see a cut crease and cake liner and, oh, blocked brows. Put like everything in one sentence. Like cut crease, multi-chrome, black brow, something else. And I'm just like, okay, okay, which which one is it? Y'all know troll easily confused. So anyway, in one of the other videos I'm gonna do, I am gonna do a black brow with a multi-chrome. I'm guessing that's what Will meant. I'm not sure, but that's what we're gonna do. And Renee, she asked for just different looks with different palettes. And so through me doing these videos, it will be different looks with different palettes. And I don't think I'm going to focus on the palette. I'm going to focus on the color, especially for the 70s look, the 80s look, the 90s look, and the early 2000s look. And when I was Googling pictures, there were differences because there were some for Black women. And those pictures seem to be different in color and tone as far as eyeshadow than non-POC pictures. And so there was some discrepancy between what a 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s look is. And so I looked through a bunch of pictures and I will insert a picture at the end of each look so you can see where my inspiration came from. Um, and to see if I got close, which my recreation is never the same. And I also looked at eye shade too, because that plays a difference as y'all saw from the wing thing. That was an atrocity. And so for this look, so far, I have on my face. I put on the Fenty Face Primer, the foundation 335. I set my face with the uh, Fashion Fair, <laughs> Fashion Fair, Set It Loose Powder and Truly Tony. Brows are L'Oreal. I did not use concealer. I find with the Fenty foundation, I think it's okay without concealer, but I set under eye with this powder here from Elephant, and that one is soft light. And ooh, this the ooh, this is the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 1 highlighter palette. And I used this shade here, which is no prob. And so I like it because this area looks dark and then it's a built-in highlighter, but this is a highlighter palette. And I'm like, whoo, I am loving it. I am loving it. So that's what that is. And to set my face, I use the Hourglass Dim Light Powder, which is in, I want to, I want to say Elephant. Yes, it is an Elephant. Is this one here, the first one. But I wanted to have it bigger. First world problems. You know, I could have just used this one, and I do. Um, but it's just easier with a bigger brush to do this one. But I do still use that one too, so I don't think I'm completely neglecting that one. And so for right now, we are going to... Yeah, I'm pulling up my sleeves, y'all. I'm going to put under my lower lash line the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Deep Purple. While I'm doing that, this is what else you'll see here. We're going to prime my eyes with the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. And I meant to talk about what I was doing when I primed my eyes, but I kind of got ahead of myself. 
Um, and that's part of the crazy troll nation is we have an intro and we forget or we forget when to do it <laughs> among other crazy things and the troll part of the crazy troll nation is not caring too much what the beauty community's standards of beauty are you set the standard for yourself you know love yourself for who you are and for how you look even without face paint on and try not to feel like you're not socially acceptable or that you're not put together if you don't have on face paint love yourself for who you are and for how you look embracing your natural features enhancing them if you want to but not feeling like you have to you know what i mean and so yeah just self-acceptance self-love makeup is therapeutic for a lot of people um for me it definitely is and that's why i do so many darn videos um it's not therapy though that's another topic it is therapeutic but it's not therapy um if you want me to discuss why i say that let me know and i will i have a doctorate degree in psychology so when i say that i'm not just saying it just to say it and i know there's a lot of channels well not a lot but there are some channels who do talk about how makeup is therapy um and as a clinician it it just kind of like <clears throat> yeah so anyway so we have on our primer i'm excited for this look and so thank you dawn and will and renee <laughs> i am just digging the cheek thing oh we are no, it's not about the palette okay i was going to say we are going to use and i'm not sure we're going to use and i know i have a habit sometimes of like switching sentences in the middle of a sentence but we're going to use the natasha denona circle local palette for this look because one of the looks i've seen i'll insert a picture here when i saw the colors i'm like i got those colors so see, it's not about the palette, it's about the colors. And so I wrote down what's gonna go where and um, we'll see what's gonna happen. So <laughs> we're gonna take Flip, this shade here. I'm gonna put this in a portion of the lid and up to the brow bone. Ooh, I don't know how this is gonna look, but this is supposed to be a 70s look. And they did take it to the brow bone. This is new for me. Um, I have taken inner corner shades to the brow bone, but not this color. It was more so like a neutral shade or a shimmery brown or tan or something, but not anything like this vibrant. So I'm kind of <laughs> not sure. I'm going to edit out doing this on the other eye. But before that, I'm just going to use the tip of the brush and just bring it down just right here. I'm laughing at myself. My eyes are burning. I'm wondering if it's the scent from um, this clover honey chapstick. Because this is strong. <laughs> it is strong. And I do have sensitive sinuses, both nasal and eye sinuses, allergies. Um, if you're new here, I'm looking at my notes. Now we're going to take Act, this purple shade. And this is going to go in the center of the lid. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I do think, sorry for smacking, I do think this is going to look like the picture, somewhat. Um, and the picture, I believe she was looking down. I didn't look at the picture today. I looked at it the last couple of days, but I should have looked at it before I started. Um, so I don't know. I don't remember if she had hooded lids or not. But um, yeah, I'm going to start my blend up here. And I'm gonna just run this right here. Not quite blending, but just, I guess, blending. I'm not doing the back and forth because I don't wanna lose that green and the shades were very prominent in the picture as you saw. So I don't wanna lose color. I'm gonna take a little bit more and put this up here. The next shade for outer corner was a black and I was gonna take McCready from Martine Cosmetics 669 and I said you know what let me try this pat dark matter one more time I did have it in my makeup trash I said let me just try it one more time this is still the brush that has the blue I mean that purple can I see colors um I just want to try it just one more time because that other video you saw it did not work well on that wing thing video so we're just going to flip this over this is a more dense brush this does feel hard pan so we're going to start by 
placing that here and it's going on so was it the brushes i was using and one of them was a dense brush that pencil brush was a dense brush and so this is just weird it does feel hard pen because even sweeping it you know what it's dry that's what it is it's very dry and so this part is done we're going to sweep over just a little bit it doesn't need much blending well yeah it is it does <laughs> like right here so we're going to just sweep it inward into the purple and hmm that looks nice seems to be less black up here because this to me seems to be very distinct and so we're just going to leave that like that and the shapes are different this is above my crinkle this well this kind of is too i guess okay this is the cut crease part for will venus <sighs> okay every cut crease video i see from youtubers influencers con content creators excuse me they put primer or concealer on the lid and that's how they do their cut crease whenever i see an actual professional makeup artist scott barnes um Vanessa myricks pat mcgrath natasha denona they never do that it's whatever brush they use and the technique of just putting the shadow right there and so it's just kind of curious to me how YouTube will teach you one way, but when you look at professionals who this is their day job for like the last 20, 30, 40 years, they do it completely different. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going into dark matter still. And this is a crease brush, but because I don't put colors in my crease, because I take my lid shades up to the transition area, I'm going to use this brush and this is going to be the cut crease for Will. I am putting it directly in my crease and this is what they do they just take a shade and just put it in the crease and because of the placement and because they don't blend it up or down this is not showing up <laughs> it looks like a cut crease as we know it to be and i don't do cut creases because i don't put colors in my crease well I don't use crease shades. I take my lid shades up, as I said, through the crease and up to the transition area. And so that's why I don't do cut crease looks because of all the puffiness of my lid. When I look up, you don't see it anyway. And all that did was kind of just move that purple. I'm going to take, that's going back in my makeup trash and it's staying there this time. I'm going to go into... Martine Cosmetics 669 palette and we're going to take McCready this shade here and we're going to take a different brush the same one but a clean one and we're going into McCready which is more of like a charcoal black or charcoal gray and we're going to do the same thing I can't tell down here I'm seeing it but when I look up I don't because it's in my crease so when I look back I'll see if it's there and I don't like how dark matter just erased the purple and so we're going to bring this up a little bit higher actually to the top of that even though I didn't really want to do that we're going to go back into McCready again yeah I can see it in the crease down here but when I look up it's, it's in my puff I can't tell but this is for you Will and I'm hoping this is what you meant because I didn't understand your sentence. I just read like four different things all together. So I was like, which one do they want me to do? Yeah, and I do feel like I lost that purple. So we're going to go back into that purple. Or do we not? Yeah, let's do it because it's annoying me. So the same brush. And we're just going to tap right here to put some of that purple back and the same thing on the other eye even I did take McCready all the way up but and I know also with cut creases you you do use colors that will show up different and so I know that these are not showing up the way typical cut creases do but what I will also do is for you will we're going to take Annabelle which is black black this is McCready 
this is Annabelle black black and we're going to take a pencil brush because I, I want to get the cut crease for you even though it's not going to look like it and I'm just going to sweep this right across where the crease would be for a cut crease and so looking down I can see it and maybe I should have done this with a more light eyeshadow look because then you could see the actual crease color so looking down I see it and it does look like a cut crease but because this is dark and this is dark it's not that noticeable especially when I look up because you can't see it at all because it's sucked into the puff but there's your cut crease well so we're gonna put <laughs> why are my eyes burning um what are we doing now for some reason, I think the purple was even up here. And the pink was just here. I'm going to take that purple up higher. Because for some reason, I'm remembering it that way. And I could be remembering it wrong. But we're going to... <laughs> this is looking... You know what? I'm not even going to say it looks crazy. Because if it looks like the picture, and this is what 70s makeup was, then that's what it was at that time. And I did pick pictures that were vibrant because I like bold colors. I like bright colors. I also like dark and smoky. Actually, I, I prefer dark and smoky more so than bright, but I do still want bright. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at with that. So I guess I like everything except ethereal looks, like the barely there or just a little bit of shimmer on the lid and that's it kind of thing yeah I think this is what it was and I should have looked at the picture again today before I started right so we're going to take hmm, I was going to take a blending brush but I'm not I'll keep it out just in case we're going to take this shade here which is Joker and that's going to go here and I do remember this being all the way up to the brow I do remember that and so that's where we're going to put whoo, whoo, this looks like um I'm about to go break dancing and no, I was never a break dancer. I think I'm not liking this right here, this line right there. But I, I think I'm doing the look some sort of justice. The one said she saw someone else do a look inspired by an earlier time. And she said that it was really fun um, to watch. And so that's what led her to give me those suggestions on top of me asking like what you all wanted to see from me for vlogmas and I do appreciate it because I'm doing stuff I would not have thought to do I would not have thought to try that wing I think I would have done a wing but not like that I would have just done like the smaller wings that I've been practicing doing um graphic liner I have been wanting to try but I have been putting it off and putting it off because I knew it was going to be challenging. And so you guys giving me ideas, is it's really helping me. And I appreciate that. So this is where we're going to leave it. I don't remember what was on. I'm just tapping along that top line. And for some reason, I don't think the look was really blended. Because I remember distinct colors. And I know the shape here is different than that one. I don't really want to mess it up anymore. So we're going to leave it like that, except we're going to take this brush and I don't remember lower lash line, but we're going to take this brush. <gasps> okay. I dropped it in my lap and smeared the pink all over my gray sweatpants. So we're going to take Joker and we're going to put that here. And then we're going to take act that purple and we're going to put this here. I don't remember if she had liner on. I was going to do another look after this. I mean, another video after this. And I kind of think I still will. But I don't know because this is not my typical thing here. But I do think it's interesting. I'm going to do liner. Will a black liner make a difference? We're going to do liner and mascara. Oh, before I forget, we're going to wipe off fantastic. For the majority of the 70s looks I saw... It was a nude lip and I'm just like, but then with like this, I would do a black lip with this look, but I do understand why they did a nude lip because there's this myth or this unofficial makeup rule. If you do a bold eye, do a neutral lip, 
if you do a neutral eye do a bold lip and i'm just like huh, i want to do bold everything i'm thinking this dose of colors because this is definitely a nude and this is from nima tang's set is it yeah and this is penny so we're going to put this on this here yeah this is yeah we're going to just use this one because this is definitely <laughs> just erase my lips i want to do a brown liner with this The color is pretty, but it is not my thing. It serves a purpose because the look is supposed to have a nude lip, and this is very, very nude. This is our finished look. Before I did liner and all of that, I put on that purple. We put on our lower waterline. I put that on my lower inner rim. Then I used the Fenty liner and because I'm black, I used the Lancome Sils Boost Mascara Primer and I used Scott Barnes Pumped Up Mascara. So this is my 70s look requested by Dawn R and cut crease that you can't really see requested by <laughs> Will Venus and different looks with different palettes requested by Renee and I will link all of them below. And that'll be it for this video. And I'll post a picture again. So you can see. Am I way off? I mean, I know I'm always like a tad off. But anyway, I think I nailed the new lip though. And the cheek situation. I don't remember what her cheek looked like. I should have looked at the picture today. I'm going to go on babbling. Thank you for being here. And welcome to whatever day of Vlogmas this is. <laughs> And you will see me in the next one. Thank you.